Miliband, it's UK PLC. There is no difference. They are all going the same way. Each one eats away at the determination of the working class to provide resistance to these cuts. The message is always the same. We can't do anything else. It's because they don't want to. They don't want to cancel Trident. They don't want to cancel their wars and the various other things we'd like to spend their money on. That is why we must all stand together. It is from the grassroots, from the very bottom, we've got to put the message up. Put it up to the TUC. You represent us. You must put the message through. We must have a general strike. We must all stand together. And that is the only way. We must get the UK PLC to sit up and take notice. And the only way is in the boardrooms of the land. And that is to hit them with it hurts, and that is in their pocket. So everyone here, support for a general strike and push forward for it with the TUC. Thank you very much. Mary Cook, a retired nurse from Peterborough, originally from Liverpool, uh, a member of the National Pensioners Convention. We have been fighting in the National Pensioners Convention in Peterborough and throughout the country for the CWU. We are concerned that the CWU has affiliated yet again to the Labour Party, having just heard Mr Hayes say that three times under Labour they have had difficulties. Well, why give them money if they're causing you difficulties? I recently called for the renationalisation of the NHS. I am appalled as a nurse, and I know that before the NHS came about, the conditions you wouldn't believe that people had to put up with. And I tell you, the Americanised system is not going to help us. Now, I, I appeal to you, we need a re-nationalisation of all public services. <laughs> the National Pensioners Convention are absolutely on your side. Pensioners are with you. I talk to them, pleading with them to go the socialist way. And I tell you, I am winning. Sir Martin Powell Davis, uh, a member of the National Executive of the NUT. Now, teachers and education faces an absolute onslaught. You know about the attacks on pensions. We now have attacks on our pay, where a teacher who moves from one job to another after September will have no guarantee of protection of their pay and can face pay cuts. And now we have the final straw of an attempt by Gove to remove any of our contractual workload protections, taking away limits on days and hours and the other workload protections that we've got. And the response from teachers across the country has been, enough is enough. We cannot carry on doing this job under those kind of conditions. But that, of course, is exactly what Gove and Cameron want, because they don't care about education for any of your young people. They are quite happy to have schools staffed by underpaid, bullied staff who are just going to be taken in, worked to death for a couple of years and then spat out, because that's what helps them to privatise education. And we can't allow that to happen. And it's been said that there was a pause. And yes, that pause is to blame first and foremost from those union leaders that deliberately, I think, pulled the rug. But we've got to say about those unions who then also paused themselves. They had their own crisis of confidence. And that crisis of confidence has got to stop. We have got to be taking action. And I'm glad to say that last week at last, we had teachers, the NUT and the NASUWT, taking solid action across the northwest, across 22 local authorities. But that has just got to be the beginning. Because the reality is there's been real anger that I know that that action took place. You as trade unionists might know that action took place, but virtually nobody will know because there was a complete media blackout. There was nothing 
in the national TV coverage to say that that action was taking place. But it's what we, those of us on the executive being pushing for action, have said that the reality is that's what happens when you only take regional action. What we've got to do is to take national strike action, certainly of the teachers, but not just the teachers. We've got to take action together, as our members have been saying to me. Yes, we want to take action, but not as just take action just to protest against the inevitable. We want to take action to protest and to make sure that we win and we defeat these attacks. And the strongest way that you can act, take action is to take action together. So we're going to be out in the autumn. Let's make sure all the trade unions are out in autumn with a 24-hour general strike, and we're going to stop these attacks and defend our members and our services.